Okay. The challenge is to realize where am I clinging and where do I want to get to? Let's say you're obese or you like, you, fa you found yourself in a situation where you were thinking, you know, I have to get surgery and have my penis removed. And you're already in the process of talking to psychiatrists about this. And they finally came to the conclusion, you know, I think you, you know, yeah, I think you really need this. I mean, you've just convinced a whole lot of people that that's what you need to feel better. And what you realize is, I think you need to wake up, my friend. And the reason I'm saying this is because just because you can convince others that you need something that is a very disruptive, you know, process into your intimacy um, doesn't mean it's the good thing to do, right? It doesn't mean it at all. It just means that you're very convincing in telling yourself that you've been born into the wrong body. And what I'm saying to you is that you've been born into the body or into the place in your life or whatever. And that's the challenge, my friend, and it's called acceptance and then letting go. You can accept the fact that you're confused and that you have no idea how you are supposed to be as a man and that you feel attracted to other men sexually and that's why you think you should be a woman. The way... Oh, wow, 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 wow. I have to make sure I receive some a token of friendship. Yeah, it's cannabis. And now it's raining. And now I have to make sure it's not going to get wet. Because if you don't have this a lot, you know, you are going to appreciate it a lot if somebody gives you some. And that's why I'm just going to make sure. And that's also, you always have to keep it together. Um, you always have to keep it together and now I'm transitioning you know from now I'm also going to take my my poncho for nights like this not this one you know this is just a bit of rain cover but I just want to make sure that if I go for hikes in weather like this because now I will get wet and I don't say I really like getting wet you know okay so what was I talking about escape the eight the eight is a habit that you know a place in your life that always comes back you walk and you like you know let's say you have a certain behavior with women or watching porn and you you go there and then you let go of porn you know i'm just explaining it to myself now uh and then something happens second there's porn again porn and then there are certain things that come back like this you know some people watch a lot of porn some people masturbate a lot you know some people smoke a lot of cigarettes and then there's people that just do it once in a while and then there's also things that just come periodically like you know your period or let's say ceremonies right and that's why you should and I've been neglecting this a little when you probably smoke cannabis it's probably best to make sure that your apartment is clean and then you make a ceremony out of it uh, and the same goes naturally for wow I have really pain in my left leg because we played frisbee and I like ran and then whoosh, you know, slid over the grass like that was insane. But now I have to face, you know, that I've injured myself. And that means I'm going to be home. And what am I going to do? I have to then somehow take care of my leg. Because you could say I've overexerted myself a little bit. I pushed my boundaries to also remind myself of my own strength. And that's why when I play frisbee, you know, I go full on out. And that's what people know. 
Now, if we play frisbee, I'm gonna go nuts. But if I can, you know, I'm gonna be a little bit reserved. But usually I can, you know, I can keep going, I can keep going, I can keep going. But if I keep smoking all the time, you know, if I smoke once, it's okay. You know, I can deal with it. But if I smoke every day, every day, every day, if I just keep drinking coffee all the time, coffee doesn't do anything anymore, it just turns into water. So I have to, but like poisonous water. So I can drink coffee once in a while, but I have to realize that if I drink coffee, that it's very acidic and that it can just make me feel angry and on edge all the time because my body just feels, you know, I'm swimming in an ocean of acid. You know, your soul is resting inside your being or whatever, right? I mean, there's something like an essence in you. If you are the ocean and you just dump shit into you, you know, you just eat whatever. I mean, just take this example. Wait a second, there's something else coming.